Okay. Hello everyone. Okay, so I'm in New York right now. I flew in from Toronto this morning. I woke up at 3 a.m. So I'm running on little sleep. And then my flight was at like around seven, but I left Sophia in Toronto. We said goodbye. It was very sad. Sophia, I miss you a lot, but I'm in New York and I'm here for a few days. So my flight arrived here at like 9.40 ish. It's now 11 and we were able to check into the hotel early. I'm gonna go meet my friend who's on her lunch break. And I think we're gonna like grab coffee or something this is going to be my first time meeting her we've been friends for a few years also i just did the most stupid thing so this is my toothpaste and this is anti-itch cream because i had an allergic reaction to prawns i was brushing my teeth and i didn't see which tube i picked up so i accidentally put the anti-itch cream on my toothbrush and literally started brushing my teeth with the anti-itch cream i immediately spat it out but the anti-itch cream taste is still in my mouth and it's like disgusting like i keep getting the little hint of it after and it's Okay, let's leave. So I'm waiting for my friend right now. She basically is meeting me during her work break. I took the subway here very independently. I feel very proud of myself. Also look at my necklace, it's a New York necklace. I'm very self-conscious of vlogging because I have been approached by some strange I've been approached by some people with strange intentions and who are kind of scaring me, so. This is Anjali. She is on her break from work. But she came to meet me during her break. Meet you? Meet me. Oh, you said meet you. We got coffee. I haven't had a coffee like the whole day and I'm running on like three hours of sleep. Don't know how I'm doing it, but I got this coffee. Where are we going? I don't know. You have to decide what you want to eat. Sweet green. Sweet green. Salad. Isn't that where like all the influencer people go? Aren't you? Look at you right now. You're black. <laughs> You're an influencer. Oh, shoot. I'll update you guys and find some food. So I have made it off the subway. I am not with Anjali anymore. I actually got a little bit lost on the way back. Okay, I didn't get lost. I missed my stop because I was texting my friend and I got a little bit carried away. I missed my stop and then I couldn't like get back to where I needed to be. I'm walking to Broadway right now and I'm gonna go shopping. I wanna go to like the massive brandy. I'm so basic. I'm so sorry, guys. Told my brothers, when are we gonna make it? We just gotta grind for that paycheck. Mama told me one day I'll be famous. Remember when she used to say Hi everyone, I'm back at the hotel, but we have a dinner reservation and we're meeting some family friends. My room is a mess because I was ironing clothes, except this is like a mini steamer. I am not familiar with steamers, I use an iron, and so I basically spilt water all over the floor and made all my clothes that i was ironing wet in fact the skirt i'm wearing actually has a wet patch here because of my inability to use a steamer but we're going to go to dinner now which i'm really looking forward to because i want some italian food It is my first full day in New York. I had a little bit of a lion because I was kind of sleep deprived. It's like 11 a.m. and my friend Piper is on her way to New York. So she lives kind of near Washington. So she's getting a train from there to New York and staying with me for two nights. And I'm so excited because me and Piper are also internet friends. Me and Piper have been friends for like over a year. So I'm so excited to see her. I'm gonna go collect her from the train station. This is crazy. Like I've met so many internet friends. I'm really excited to see her. But before that, I need to get coffee. Hi guys, I'm with Piper. We have been <laughs> together for a few hours and then we came back to the hotel. We are gonna go to the Met. I don't know how to say hi. I'm from Maryland. <laughs> yes, but this is our first time meeting and I cut you off from the station. I feel like this necklace doesn't even go. We're ready. Fit check. My top's from Urban. My pants are from Zara. My bag is from Conan Greg. Oh, Converse. My trousers are from Brandy in Toronto. XL Ariatos, Peachy Den. And yeah, we're gonna go. Okay, guys, we've made it to the mat. Is there a chocolate on my face? She got soft serve. Okay frozen yogurt i don't know feeling gossip girl like oh my god this is so wait like seeing it from this angle this is like the angle they show in gossip girl you know when serena like walks this way and oh, like wait, blair yeah. is like over there and here 
Here's yours, as promised. Thanks. Hey, here you guys are. I looked all over the dining hall for you. Isn't that so, wait, that's so trippy. Uh, if you can tell, I'm a big Gossip Girl fan. <laughs> you what? have to watch that. Wait, <laughs> There's this girl with her like grandma and she just came up to us and said, I love both of you outfits. She's stealing my content right now. That's so sweet of her. Let's go sit where Blair and Serena sit. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad features. You found the beauty goes much deeper. Once you get to me. So we went to the Met and we've finished now. It closed. And we looked at the anthology of fashion, which was very interesting. And also European art like Monet. I got a book based on the art exhibition they have there it's very nice but it's very heavy so i'm not really enjoying carrying that right now we're currently walking parallel to central park and we're on our way to the gossip girl location which is their school okay so we've arrived it's museum of the city of new york which is constant spillard in gossip girl this is it i don't know if you like recognize that corner it's kind of trippy but i'm trying to like place myself in gossip girl right now so those are like the steps Yesterday, me and Piper just came back to the hotel after dinner and chilled, as you saw. We're gonna go thrifting. I made an itinerary for today. We have a list on notes of like a bunch of places that we wanna go to. Shortlisted the ones that were like near us. I've made a route so that we passed all of those shops in a specific order. I hope that made sense. But basically, it's very smart. That is the conclusion. Fit check. My cap is from Aritzia. My New York Marc Jacobs necklace, cause you know, I'm in New York. And then this with jean top. Cargos from IMGia. I'm also wearing my New York bracelet that I made. Piper is also wearing it, cause I made her one. We're at Black Seed Bagels. Taking a break from it. vintage shopping and we're in the NYU shop and we're getting NYU t-shirts and she's also getting a sweatshirt. Do I go to NYU? No. Do I live in New York? No. Am I applying to New NYU? No, because I'm not applying to any American unis because I'm from the UK and I haven't done an SAT and I would love to go to NYU, but uh, NYU international fees are really not the vibe. But will I be getting a t-shirt to sleep in? Yes, I will be. I'm not smart enough to go here, but I'm stuck in a shop. She's getting the, <laughs> she's getting the full merch. She's fully set. Maybe just because I have the merch to love me in. Exactly. I don't have to be smart. <laughs> like 10 a.m. and this is Piper's last day here actually very sadly we're gonna go to the museum of ice cream I love ice cream so I just feel like I had to go kind of going for the banter they also do have an unlimited ice cream at the museum so I will be taking advantage of that I will see you when I get to the museum of ice cream but first coffee let's go What's going on? There's all these doors. I think there's a bouncy castle. Summer rain on the window. Taste test, even though I've already tried it. We got the birthday cake one. Watch the time Pretty good. Cheers. Okay, so we finished our ice cream and they have like children's sheets with like little activity challenges. So me and Piper are making it a competition. Okay, the competition is over. I finished first. Yay! I'm still not done mine. <laughs> I get very competitive over things which don't even actually matter. There's a slide. There's a confused child who's crying. Look at this photo we took. <laughs> <laughs> so 
ice cream. I think the favorite bit wasn't even the ice cream themed stuff. It was literally like the playground because you know underage, so that's what we have to do in this city for entertainment. Okay. That's definitely not terrifying. <laughs> there was a cricket on her head. I can't. And it just dropped onto her brownie bag. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. We went back to the hotel and we changed outfits and we're now going to Brooklyn. We're currently trying to find the Humphrey loft from Gossip Girl, but Google Maps isn't really helping right now. We're back at the hotel now. I'm going to give you guys a haul of the stuff that I got today. I first went to Brandy on Broadway. My bag broke, it is currently ripping. We were in the pizza place and then the bag like started to fall apart as I was walking through towards the rubbish bin to throw away my stuff. And then this man who was sat there eating his pizza called me out and he was like, girl, like you did too much shopping. So the first thing I got is this navy jumper. And then I really switched it up and got the exact same jumper in cream. This is the jacket that I got. I think it's really nice. It's really oversized. Okay, but I have to give a story time of what happened in the brand new changing rooms. I went to the changing room not once but twice because I'm extremely indecisive. The first time I went, she didn't give me like the number tag with like the number of items that you are gonna try on. So I went, tried everything on and then I came back out and a different person was there. And then she was like, oh, where's your tag? And I was like, oh, I don't think I got one. Like I can go look in the changing room, but like, I don't think I have one. And I went and checked and I didn't have it. But like, obviously I wasn't stealing anything. I just had a handbag. So I was like, I can like show you in my bag. And she was like, yeah, like, sorry, like apologies, whatever. It was all fine. Then I had to go back to the changing room. I went back. The second time I went to the changing room, I had a bunch of items and I was wearing my navy cap. Cap. and this cap happens to be from brandy mold and then she's like oh and your cap and i was like oh no like this is mine and then she was like oh i saw you not wearing it before and then i was like i was like wearing it like i can show you pictures i was ready to show her pictures from earlier on in the day with me wearing this cap we go into the changing room and me and piper are next door and piper is like samiha i think like she's talking to the security guard about your cap nothing actually ended up happening because i hadn't done anything wrong so she couldn't prosecute me for anything and then when we went to brooklyn today we went to some vintage shops and i went to beacon's closet i got these trousers and they're just like these cream trousers which are slightly flared it's time for Piper to go. I gotta help her with her stuff now. Good morning, everyone. So today is my last day in New York. It is quarter to 11 a.m. and I have changed into my outfit and I have gotten all ready and I thought I would show you. This is my Kanye West t-shirt, which I got from Etsy and I love it. Buffaloes, then this skirt, this top, my favorite thing i haven't worn it yet on this trip so i'm very pleased to be wearing it right now this is the front and you might be like oh yeah that's sick but then wait until you see the back my favorite aritzia cap which i got in toronto this bag from brandy so it's like 11 a.m first of all i need to get coffee and a bagel and then i'm gonna go to grand central which is a train station i'm not catching a train i simply want to go there because of gossip girl reasons and then after that i'm gonna go to another gossip girl location which i will leave a surprise I got my matcha, this was so good. It was like the draft matcha with like vanilla, nitrogen infused and coconut milk and oat milk. And it was so good. I was wearing my Kanye shirt. So then the guy working that like complimented my shirt. He was like, I fuck with your shirt. And then I was talking to him. We started talking about like hip hop and stuff. And then he was saying like his friend met Tyler, the creator, like last week, like twice. He was saying how he's met Frank Ocean. Like Frank Ocean's just been here. And he's met like Al Sweatshirt, Lil Nas, Joey Badass. Like what the fuck, that's so cool. Oh my darling, I've managed to find the Grand Central, the main bit. Let me show you, it's so pretty. I just walked from Grand Central to Lots New York Palace Hotel, which is where in Gossip Girl, Serena and Lily and Eric Van der Woodson live. They're currently doing a restoration. This is the courtyard, and then this is where the outside is. Pretty cool to think that like, the scene, for example, at the start when Dan comes to collect Serena and then Nate is also waiting and then they like Loki have a fight. The thing a little too far? Have you started? Okay, man. man, let's just go. Tell me you're sticking up to Serena's new bitch. If anyone's got a reason to kick his ass. The fact that I'm standing where it was and then like Dan rushes out and he like rushes out right there. That's so cool. Darling, Arizona, why are you packing a 
Here's me at the I Love New York shop getting stuck in an I Love New York baby tee. I did finally manage to find one that actually fits me, but this was a real struggle. I did forget to film an outro to this video because I had to rush to the airport after that clip of me getting stuck in an I Love New York t-shirt was filmed. Although that being said, I feel like that's a very oddly fitting ending to this vlog. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed the video. I miss New York a lot. I miss my friend Piper so much. Piper, I miss you. I hope to visit New York soon. Even more so, I hope to live in New York one day. I hope you guys enjoy the vlog and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Going out town, we can park, park slowly.